Hey everybody, welcome to Amanda Land. In today's episode, we're gonna take a deep dive into shelf number four, the one with all the books I've been promising you guys. So we're gonna take a look at what I got all down there. So let's go. I'm gonna like hold these up and show them off better, but just quick scan here are the autobiographies that I have. Then over here is picture books. Children's books. And then some other miscellaneous goodies. Also, I got some more little miscellaneous things that, um, yeah, I'll hold up for the camera. I was trying to think of the best way to show this stuff off instead of, you know, flipping through each page. I'm not sure if you guys are interested in that, but I'm going to just basically hold up, show you what I got, and yeah, we'll go from there. Okay, if I remember correctly, I think this was my first auto, not autobiography, biography I got on Madonna. As you can see, I there's this weird plastic cover. I wrapped it in plastic because I wanted to read it, but I also didn't want it to get ruined. So, I wrapped it in plastic. So that's what that is. Yeah, this is... Obviously, all biographies are pretty good. I All the ones I have are really not that bad. Um, there's this one. I'm trying to get, I'm trying to get the pictures. Where are they? Oops, skip, skip them. Here we go. There's that one. There's this hardcover one. Pretty good. No pictures in this one. Boring. This one. There's the pictures. She's at it again. Do you hear that? Yeah, we see you. We see what you're doing. Okay, back to the books. And this one. And all these books obviously are good because they're about the queen. And yes, I've read every single one of them. This one, this is more like a companion book, you know, if you want to learn more about Madonna. It was pretty good. Who is that girl? Alright. This is the Rolling Stone Files. This one's good too. Who am I kidding? They're all good. They're about Madonna, so they're good. And if you ever want a book on Madonna quotes, this is for you. Unofficial and unauthorized. Isn't unauthorized spelled with a Z? I could be wrong, but yeah. Here's nothing but quotes. you're interested then like an icon this one was good all right so next we're gonna move on to the illustrated biographies in other words picture books but nothing but pictures and as you can see Full of awesome, awesome pictures. Do you want pictures of Madonna in book form? This is a book for you. There's this book. Moving on to this one here. 
you know, I'd go to the bookstore, Barnes and Noble, and I always check to see, make sure had to, if there was a picture book, I had to get it, or a, bio, a new biography, I had to get it. Even though I know I've read multiple biographies and looked through multiple books. Oh, look! Ah, imagine that. That's not Madonna related. But yeah, there's Little Mermaid. Which is, there's, for some reason I have that in there, but there you go. Yeah, anyway, if I was at the bookstore, anything Madonna, had to get it. And I know there's a lot of people out there that are the same way. Yay. It would be nice. I haven't opened these books in a long time. Wouldn't it be nice if I'm flipping through this and I find money or something? Not that I've ever stashed money in my books, but hey, wouldn't that be cool? Got a little mermaid postcard, but not money. This, focus, this one mainly focuses on her early career, which is fine. Pretty cool. Yeah, there you go. There's that book. Now this one. I remember when this came out, I thought this was the coolest book ever. The Encyclopedia Madonica. And I believe there's a volume two out. I just haven't, I didn't, didn't get it yet. But yeah, I carried this around all the time in high school. Love this book. Anything and everything you want to know about Madonna, it's in here. And then some. But yeah, very, very cool book. Highly recommend it to any any fan out there. Another one I recommend, if you're an Evita fan, I recommend this book. And it's basically just a picture book about the movie, the making of... Oh god, did anybody else get all teary-eyed and uh, cried a little bit? Even though we know it's not Madonna. Okay, here. We know that's not Madonna. That's Ava Perone. She's acting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But did any other fans out there get a little teary-eyed seeing Madonna in a coffin? Because cause I did. And I know she's acting, but still, don't like that image. Moving on. But yeah, this is a picture book about the making of Evita, the film. Uh, obviously, I had to get this, especially after going to the premiere. Lots of great photos. This is one of my favorite uh, movies. Love it. She was phenomenal in this film. yeah this is a great book making of Evita. more great books the books by guy ozuri photography by guy ozuri i may be saying his name wrong but you know who i'm talking about him yeah i love these books i just wish he continued to do these because you know it's nice seeing these pictures yeah, if you don't have this book and you're a Madonna fan and you like the tours, I highly, highly recommend it. This the pictures are great. The quality is amazing. And I'm just flipping through, but yeah, it's this is a great book. You know you want it. Go out and buy it if it's available. Check Amazon. Yeah, there you go. Here's some pictures. Flipping it through. Do 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 do. Great book. This one's even better. Why? I don't know. It just is. The pictures are glossier, glossier. I don't know, it just seems like it's better quality. I don't know. More pages. Never really counted. But yeah. See, I wish they did this for every single tour. Because this is just great. Seeing all these images compiled in a book. No, I'm not the only one out there that thinks that way. Yeah. And how cool would it be if you were any of these people? You were in a Madonna book? So yeah, that book, get it if it's still available. I haven't really looked into that. Okay, so this next book, honestly, I only got it because it had to do with Madonna. I'm not really a big 
art fan or not that being an art fan's bad. I'm not an art fan. I'm not like, yeah, I'm not an art fan. But I got this book because it had Madonna images in it. So let's take a look. Madonna in art. So it is, it is kind of cool. I haven't looked at this in forever. It's just images that create uh, people created of Madonna. Again, I'm not a big huge. Oh my god, I have to have Madonna art. But again, it was about Madonna. It was a bunch of images compiled, and I had to get it. And it, it is a good book. It's high quality. If you're a Madonna fan and you like art, well, then this is the book for you. I mean, heck, I can't. I can hardly draw a stick figure, and look at that. Oops. Yeah. I got some more picture books here. Madonna, Portrait of Material Girl. And basically, this was just another book I found at Barnes & Noble. Just basically, just pictures of Madonna. Again, had to have it. Same old Madonna pictures. I'm pretty sure this is the same exact book. Madonna, Portrait of a Material Girl. I have not gone page by page to see if it is it's the exact same book, but it's pretty dang close. Let's see if it's got that uh, Who's That Girl picture at the front. No, it doesn't. So it's not, but it's similar. Yeah, it's similar. Right here, I don't know if um, a lot of people know about this. Maybe they do. But Madonna participated in this book, The Emperor's New Clothes. All-Star Illustrated Retelling of Classic Fairy Tales. Okay, so this book was uh, narrated by a whole bunch of different actors and actresses. Here. Gina Davis. Rosie O'Donnell. Frank Drescher, and Madonna. And that is why I have this. She narrated The Empress. So it was this whole little story here in this book, which was pretty good. And if you put the CD in, you can hear her read the story. And that is why I have Emperor's New Clothes. Now I know you guys have heard me mention this in other videos that honestly when I first got this book I thought this was the girly show tour book. Um, I was not young, quite young but I was young I didn't know a lot about tour books. I know that sounds naive but it's true truth. I saw this in a book short store or was it Sam Goody? I think it was Sam Goody record store. Anyway, saw this book had to have it. Thought it was a tour book. Thought I'm, you know, scored. But it's just like a companion book for the girly sh show. And it included a concert CD. Let's take a look. And this little flap here was the CD, which is still there. It has a live version of Like a Virgin, or Like a Virgin. <laughs> awesome, awesome audio. I w wish I could get this ripped onto my computer. And saved in iTunes because I love that version of Like a Virgin. But it's basically just a, a, a image book of the girly show. Which I think is pretty cool. Great. Ooh, I don't want to open up too much because it's, it's quite old. I don't want it to get ruined. Yeah. It's got a lot of great images in here. A lot of them. I think... Even better than the tour book, in my opinion. So. I know I'm flipping it backwards, but hey. Alright, so here we have Madonna's children's books. Don't know why I have two of the English roses, but I do. Um, I think I had one comment where somebody said that I should, you know, read them or look at them or whatever, but 
I don't know if you guys want to hear me read children's stories. If you do, leave a comment down below. If I get enough comments, then, then I might. But yeah, I got all of her children's books that she wrote. Lush Roses, the very first one. Honestly, don't remember as a re uh, order of release on all these. Oops, one was stuck. Oh, look, hey, this one was hiding. I don't remember which one came which, and I guess I could have done a little more research, but... All I know is these are all of Madonna's children's books. This one means the most. If you haven't seen my video about how I met Madonna, I detail how I met Madonna at the book signing for Mr. Peabody's Apples. And in here, in this book, I have my wristbands. And... <laughs> Madonna's autograph! Yes, that's Madonna's autograph! She wrote it in ink! The only thing that would make it better is if it said for Amanda, or to Amanda, or all my love Amanda. That's okay, because I have another one. I have that! For Amanda. Love squiggly mark. I mean, love Madonna. So I can't really complain that my Mr. Peabody's apples does not have for Amanda on it, because I do have an authentic autograph for Madonna. Gr looking at it, granted it looks like somebody stuck it in front of her as she's walking down the hall and said, here, sign this. But still, it means a lot to me, and I have it, and bleh. Okay, I got a couple other little books that were kind of small and kind of awkward to show you on the ground. Um, this one. It is The Complete Guide to Her Music as of, because she completed more music, 2004. So if you want The Complete Guide of Madonna's Music up into 2004, check out this book. It is it's pretty cool. It's got an index, like, hmm, I want to know about waiting. So let's go to page number 41. 41, Waiting, Madonna and A. Betts, another song that starts with the sound of a scratchy old vinyl before it's sliding bass note. I'm not going to bore you with all that, but yeah, this book is pretty cool. It's got pictures too. Yeah. Also got this little mini book. Don't remember where I got it, but it's just a little, little biography, a little small size biography. It's really cute. Yeah, it's kind of cool. Okay, this next book, again, I know a lot of Madonna fans out there can relate to this. You only... If it's got Madonna's image on it, or it has anything to do with Madonna, you're going to probably buy it. And when I was going through my whole collecting phase, this had Madonna's face on it. It had to do with Madonna. I had to get it. I don't agree with it. I got it more as a joke. Um, comment down below if you have this book as well. And you don't really hate Madonna. I got that I hate Madonna book. But I don't hate her. I haven't looked at this in years. This is awful. This is a dumb book. You know, if you're sitting there thinking, what dumb Madonna book can I get? This one. This is a dumb Madonna book. Um, yeah, you know, I don't even think I read this. This is so dumb. I'm looking through it right now trying to think of, like, some, what I can read to you that would save this, but... Okay, so it says here, introduction. It says, this is a book for people who love to hate Madonna and for those who hate to love her. I'm neither of those people. I love to love her and I hate to hate her. I hate hate. I hate people who, who hate. There's that. It's also a book for everyone who wonders when this number will have had enough. Start a perfume line. Oh! Start a perfume line? She did! When was this published? Way before her perfume. But that's funny. 1994. Oh! If you only knew who wrote this. Eileen Rosenwig. Ha ha! You called it. Madonna did start a perfume line. But she didn't call it quits. Anyway, when this woman will have had enough, start a perfume line and call it quits. She hasn't called it quits and she never will call it quits, so bleh. Madonna would never be so polite. For more than 10 years, her cloud of hype has mushroomed, leaving no medium unscathed, no art form unsullied. And yet, she keeps on ticking. Damn right she does. 
still bombing in the movie theaters. I wouldn't say she's bombing. After this, she did have a Vita, and that pretty was awesome. Sucking the oxygen out of the airwaves. Really? Really? Weird. Really? The dreaded megastar from hell refuses to evaporate. That's dumb. What could she still possibly want? How about all your money? I want to rule the world, Madonna explains. What a kidder. That's what it says here. But we all know Madonna rules the world. While the quality of her material has long been immaterial, she can rely on the masses to buy every belch. I would honestly buy a, uh, a song of her belching because I think that's hilarious. And I'm going to insert a clip that cracks me up to this day. Hi, I'm Madonna. Madonna recites a fart poem and gets cheered by free speech supporters. Again, I'm going to go ahead and, I think I have it, insert uh, the fart speech here because it's awesome. A fart is a chemical substance. It comes from a place called bum. It penetrates through the trousers <laughs> and lands with the musical hum. Too fart, too fart, tis no disgrace. For it gives the body ease. It warms the blankets on cold winter nights and suffocates all the fleas. <laughs> okay, and with that, we are done with this book. Again, just bought it because it had to do with Madonna. I do not agree with this book. If you want a good laugh and a, like a ha-ha in your face, especially that part about the perfume, Get this book if you, again, if you want to laugh. Okay, so there you have it. That is the bulk of my collection. I do still have some stuff tucked away in my closet. Um, nothing major, nothing like, oh my God. But it cracked me up when I found it, so maybe I'll make a video on that later. If you're interested, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, find out. Uh, yeah, find out. Stay tuned. Whatever. Anyway, I, did, I do have some other little miscellaneous little goodies. I may have shown these in other videos, but, uh, and yes, they're still in the plastic bags that I got at the, uh, concert because I'm weird. The little wristbands from the confessions tour. See in the light. And then hard candy. Also had on that shelf from the Virgin Megastore. Dusty. Still wrapped. There's buttons. There you go. Buttons from the Virgin Mega Store. That is it for this episode, for this video. I want to thank you guys all so very much for watching. If you've gotten this far, go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up. I want to say thank you to all my new subscribers out there. Um, still blows me away that at, at the time of this recording, I got 413 of you out there. I uh, appreciate it. If you're watching this video, if you've come across my videos and you haven't subscribed, which I know there's like 70 something percent of you guys watching are not subscribed, please go ahead and just subscribe. It's not gonna kill you. It doesn't cost you anything and I sure would appreciate it. That being said, hit subscribe, hit the notification buttons, hit the thumbs up, hit the thumbs down. I don't care, share with a friend, share with the Madonna forums, share it all over. Madonna fans, we need to come together. Y'all need to like my videos and subscribe to my channel. Anyway, thank you again so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.